Butchak, a small town in western Ukraine with a population of just over 10,000, feels timeless, with life unfolding at a serene, unhurried pace much as it did a thousand years ago. The old houses, with their modest facades, provide a striking contrast to the town hall, which rises among them like a masterpiece of art. For nearly 300 years, this town hall has captivated the eyes of travelers and is rightfully considered the most beautiful in western Ukraine. My journey started here today. But my thoughts are already wandering beyond the city, towards the countryside, so I'm not paying much attention to the urban scenery. However, there's one historic site I still plan to visit. The Butchak Castle, or what's left of it. The sandstone walls, more than three meters thick, have stood resilient against the passage of time. A noble family built this castle in the 17th century. The walls once safeguarded a palace that stood at the center, though nothing of it remains today. Battles for power and wealth were fought beneath these walls, and you can almost hear the echoes of those fierce struggles. Now, the remnants of the walls provide a refuge for lovers and gaze out at tourists with their empty hollowed windows like dead eyes. It's incredible to think of the painstaking effort it took to assemble all those stones to create this massive structure. There was a time when stones were laid, and later a time when they were removed. Much of the stone was taken away in the 19th century, but what remains today is a protected architectural monument. Finally, I'm on the road. The city is behind me now, and with the wind rushing in my ears, I can peacefully pedal and get lost in the rhythm of the ride. August weather is perfect for cycling, making every moment a joy except for the uphill climbs. The wheels spin effortlessly, and the belt drive runs smoothly and quietly. The miles pass by almost unnoticed. The pavement has turned to dirt, and the summer grasses tickle my nose. I've slowed down, but that just makes it easier to take in the simple beauty of the countryside. The hot, dusty road has given way to a cool, shaded forest path.
birds are singing, and sunlight filters through the leaves, lifting my spirits. My body enjoys the refreshing coolness, even if it protests a bit at the bumps along the way. The trail suddenly plunges downhill, and I find myself breaking just in time. After a steep descent on the damp earth, I arrive at an intriguing spot. This stone structure has stood here for almost 500 years, serving both defensive and spiritual purposes. The walls, towering up to nine meters high and now overgrown with shrubs, look epic amidst the dense forest. Nearby, a spring flows with icy, clear water, offering a refreshing drink or even a chance to bathe in a small pool created for that purpose. Cooling off here, in such a quiet, serene, and almost mystical place, after a long bike ride is a true pleasure, though the water is quite chilly. What's remarkable is that the water has been flowing beneath these walls for centuries, yet the foundation remains solid and the walls still stand, holding their own against the relentless pull of nature, which seems eager to swallow the structure in its green embrace. I found myself completely alone, with only the birdsong to keep me company. The gentle murmur of the stream added to the forest's symphony. Just below this stone giant, I stumbled upon a charming little waterfall. It's small but incredibly beautiful. Spring water trickled down the vibrant greenery, with mosses and tiny plants soaking up the life-giving moisture, while broad-leaved giants shivered as droplets danced on their surfaces. This little cascade felt like a hidden paradise. It was in this tranquil spot that I decided to stop for lunch. Time to keep moving.
back on the road dirt pads, fields, and villages. Acres of sunflowers and corn stretch between each village. Ukraine has some of the most fertile soil in the world, rivaled only by the land in Iowa. Scientists from the University of California created a global soil pH map and found that neutral acidity levels are rare and are linked to the most fertile lands. Ukraine is known as the breadbasket of the world, making it vital to protect these precious soils. Evening falls in the village. My shadow stretches longer as the sun begins to set. Villagers gather for dinner in their cozy homes, herding cows into barns. While I have a few more miles to pedal before reaching my resting place for the night. Here's my turn. A narrow, steep trail drops sharply. It would be safer to dismount, but that's not my style. I carefully ride down the trail, noticing how the sun has already dipped below the horizon, giving way to dusk. My camera can't handle the low light, it's too dark now. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to capture any more of the journey. But here's my final stop for the day. This is where I'll spend the night. On the cool morning of the next day, a ray of sunlight gently woke me in my hammock. Given the circumstances, choosing a hammock was a brilliant decision it doesn't need a level, soft surface just a couple of trees, and there are plenty around here. After freshening up and brushing my teeth, it was time to explore the area. I was pleasantly surprised by the incredible landscape I found myself in. The Striper River winds through a canyon, cascading down steps to form numerous small and large waterfalls. At this time of year, 
The river isn't very full, but during heavy rains, the waterfalls likely become much more powerful. The falls are surrounded by layers of rock on the valley slopes, showcasing vibrant cherry red and blue-green hues. The valley itself is covered with dense shrubbery and grassy vegetation. Here and there, porous limestone tufts protrude. If you look closely, you can see leaf imprints and find the bones of animals that once roamed this area long ago. Here, alone and away from the hustle and bustle of tourists, you feel almost lost in time. Nothing distracts from the connection with nature, and the sound of the water is soothing rather than overwhelming, shifting in tone with each waterfall depending on its height. Having breakfast in a comfortable hammock in such a magical setting is a true delight. But it's time to move on. To reach other waterfalls, I need to haul my bike up a steep canyon slope. The ground is wet and my bike is heavy, but I'm undeterred. With some effort, I managed to climb. Now, I'm heading back down the canyon in search of more stunning spots. Although my bike is better suited for asphalt than for this rocky trail, it's proving to be surprisingly resilient.
After enjoying the breathtaking, though relatively simple beauty of the waterfalls, I've descended to the bottom of the canyon. Here, in the quiet, where the roar of the waterfalls is no longer heard, I can sit by the bank of the dark, silent river and fully immerse myself in the peacefulness of nature. It's been an extraordinary journey, and I'm thrilled with the beauty I've seen, but it's time to continue my adventure. Who knows what awaits me next? Mm -hmm.